something few of us rarely think about until it's too late. We find ourselves down on the ground. I know many of my friends who are runners or trail runners or just people of a certain age, as we age, starting in our 30s, if we don't train our balance, we lose it along with that muscle mass. So today I've got a handful of different exercises you can use to train your balance so we are strong and healthy and upright. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single thing I've got coming up for you. Let's get started. You don't need any equipment today and you'll notice I am barefoot because balance work is best done barefoot so your feet get nice and strong. So you don't need equipment, but what I'm going to use as a little extra challenge, if you do have an unstable surface, this is a stability trainer by TheraBand, and I'll put the link below if you are so inclined. This is a wonderful tool to train balance and all sorts of things. So the first one we're going to do is a single leg hold. So you can do this right here on the mat, arms extended, one foot flat on the floor so your toes are gripping, and we're going to just that knee up and have this thigh parallel to the ground and we're just going to hold it right here just like that and you know also if you're new to these sort of exercises don't hesitate to bring a chair or something or the wall even to hold on to let's try the other side and it's totally common to be have better balance on one side that and, than another, and that gives you information. It, talk, it tells you something about the distribution of muscles in your body. So you may have muscular imbalances if you're stronger or more balanced on one side than the other. So that's just our single leg hold. Another variation we can do with this hold, if this is all good for you, so we can just give it a little tiny baby squat. Core is tight. That thigh is parallel to the ground. Eyes are gazing straight ahead. This is our squat. You can also, if you're really feeling it, you could add some hand weights up here and do your single leg squat. Works the quads, you'll feel it in the glutes. Let's do the other side of you, right here. No reason to rush. This one's clearly harder for me. one is our, I call it a curtsy lunge, but it's more of a curtsy toe tap. And like I said, you don't need your stability trainer, but I've got my hair, so I'm going to use it. We're going to start. We're going to start with our single leg hold right here. And then we're going to reach it back at an angle and tap that toe. Slowly bring it up. This one is very challenging, so don't be alarmed. And try it without my trainer. See if it's that much easier. Don't be alarmed if this one's very challenging. This one I had to work up to. And this one really works those medial loops, which is your side hips. Keep your chest up, gaze forward, and bring it up. You'll notice your core has to work, your hips have to work. It sort of looks easy, but it's not. Let's go to the other side. So you like hold. And reach it back at that angle and tap. Yes. Whoa. And if you need to hold on, by all means, do so. And when you're doing this one too, whoops, take note of where that bottom knee is tracking. It should be tracking as close to straight ahead as possible. It shouldn't be bowing out or collapsing in. That all indicates muscular imbalances, which we need to work on. So that is your curtsy lunge toe tapish thing. The next thing we're gonna do, try to bring my stability trainer back on the scene here, is a single leg side lift. So we're just gonna stand here, your swinging leg, the free leg, the toe is gonna to point toward the front of the room. We're just gonna very carefully bring it out and in. Not really gonna swing, it's more of a control. Yes, <laughs> great balance here. And if you want to, when you get good at this movement, whoops, 
You can add a circle resistance band to just above the knees for a little resistance here to work that side hip muscle even more. So this one and the curtsy toe tap we just did before that, you can work up to three sets of 10 on each side. That would be amazing. And you know, you don't have to do each of these exercises every time you work out, but if you do one a day or tack on one or two after each workout or before each workout, it'll be so helpful. Okay, last one. This is our knee up and out. What you can do is we're gonna bring that knee up and balance and out. It's kind of a hip opener, up and out. Circle it around. Feel the way your body needs to stabilize. Very nice. One more side. Beautiful. I hope you incorporate some of those into your daily routine, weekly workouts, whatever, because they will be so beneficial for you going forward. Thanks so much for joining me. Before you go, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.